Hello everyone and welcome back to a special video of me, that Indian guy from Journal Square in Jersey City. Right now I'm here at the train station waiting for my train to Wall Trade Center in Manhattan so that I can connect on a, another train on the subway and go back to my home in Brooklyn. So the topic of today's video is how do you deal with being homesick here in the US? That is something no matter how much you try to avoid you are going to face literally this trip to jersey city is because i was feeling homesick and i'm going to explain what are some of the things i have done in various cities to deal with being homesick so let's first just address it no matter how much you don't want to be homesick or avoid being homesick you are going to be homesick that's just a matter of fact now it comes uh, at different time durations for everyone for some people it's immediately for some people it's one week one month five months it's all up to you but there is going to be a point when you, that's going to hit you and i just hope that watching this video helps you to not panic like the first time when i felt homesick i was really panicking i'm like what do i do but i hope by watching this video at least you're ready when that hits you so today is friday i don't know when this video is going to come out but i was at work and i was feeling really homesick and one of the reasons being I was not getting a lot of good Indian food in Manhattan. Uh, I really don't get time to cook food uh, in the morning and the ex restaurants in Manhattan are far away expensive and not that good so I really don't like them and I hadn't had good food in a while. Which um, by the way on a side note I think not having good Indian food is the number one way to fall homesick because that is the thing that hits you the hardest more than anything else because you can always talk to your parents you can call your friends everything else there'll be festival celebrations but food is what connects people like really to their culture and that is the biggest reason this is going to hit you and that is the reason it hit me today ultimately i ended up taking a train to new jersey uh to jersey city there's this place called newark avenue uh this is a street in jersey city which has like almost like 20 30 indian restaurants by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should do that because I literally posted like a video of someone making pun and me eating pun right there, which was, see, that is the heights of feeling that connection back to your home when you get something like pun on the streets. But the whole point is, what I really did as soon as I got to New York was, I found a place where I could go, where I can really get that food, which brings me that feeling of being as close to home as possible. And as an icing on the cake, because this is New York City area, I was also able to find a pawn shop. Uh, this is this is the whole street just feels like India after after a certain hour of day. So it's just an added bonus. Like it really takes away all the homesickness. So this is the thing you need to do. You need to search where is the Indian street, the Indian. I know Chicago, Devon Avenue is the like the India town in that area. I, I I'm sure other like I think Houston has one. But, uh, like every place like a lot of cities will have that so I think the easiest way the first thing you can do is find where is the Indian area and not just that you got to figure out how to get there there's totally a chance that you live in a city which doesn't have direct public transport to there you might have to change buses etc or you might have to take an uber just know it in advance just have a plan ready in your mind maybe save a little bit of money for that uber ride because at that moment when you feel homesick logic is not going to work that much you just want something that connects you back to home so if you have it already figured out like i, I already knew i need to go to 33rd street i need to take the jersey train i need to get here it was all planned out in my mind i knew as soon as the homesickness hit me i was like i'm getting on this train i'm going here period now here is my second way to solve this problem which is something i use in dallas now dallas doesn't really have a indian street or something like that at least to the scale which i saw in chicago or here in new jersey we have a lot of indian restaurants in dallas so what i did was i found an indian restaurant which i can get to very easily from where i live and at that point when you don't have a lot of options that are accessible to you you really choose what is the best option available to you so there was this indo chinese place near my campus i used to go there a lot when i felt homesick was the food the best probably not was that the one i could access easily yes like immediately i could hop on a bus from campus and be there in 20 minutes and like as soon as it hit me 20 minutes later i was having food and it just it just take, took away the homesickness so you should definitely like literally if you are about to go to the u.s in fall maybe this is a little bit too early but just once as soon as you get there start looking for restaurants in the area just figure out what you want now the third way i found to beat homesickness is 
this is something that won't happen as much but I think it was like three weeks ago that there was a Garba celebration in New York and Garba is something which is very personal, very, it connects me really well to my culture. Lucky that I was able to go there and I just danced non-stop for four hours and I was able to get it out of my system and I just like I just felt so happy after that and all that homesickness is gone. Now the next way to solve this problem is do something I literally just did. Right here. I just bought a whole pack of Maggie. Yes, Maggie. I know some of you are like, I'm not going to eat Maggie once I go to the US, but honestly, this is the easiest way out of everything to deal with homesickness. Now, does this fully satisfy me, like having a full meal at a restaurant or celebrating Diwali? No, but this is the most accessible, this is the easiest option out of everything because there are times when I get that feeling at two in the morning and there is no restaurant that is open at that time. So really, quickly throwing this Maggie into the microwave and five minutes later having something that just reminds me of home helps me cure that. Now I know a lot of you are wondering why didn't I mention something like call your family, call your friends. Now the reason I say this is I was doing all of that. I was calling my family, I was calling all my friends, I was calling my extended family. But homesickness is still going to hit you and this is just my personal observation and you might have a different opinion. I personally found that food is the number one way to deal with the situation. As soon as good Indian food goes into your system, your mind just changes. The last way I want to share about dealing with homesickness is having that family atmosphere, somehow getting plugged into that. I've been blessed enough to be connected with a lot of American families around campus and every now and then I would just reach out to them and I'm like, hey, I'm really feeling homesick. I just feel like coming over to your place, sitting down, hanging out, having a meal. And yes, that feeling of sitting down with someone in a family setup, especially if they have kids, like just being in that environment also changes your mind. Literally just take Indian food there and make this like an Indian meal you're having with them and that would make it even more awesome. So you need to really like get plugged into the community. And this message is specifically for people who are going to UTD in fall 2018 in a couple months, uh, in next month actually, UTD. Go to the big howdy party at UTD. That is a party which is a part of the organization ICF on campus. Basically it's a lot of American host families, volunteers who like to spend time with international students and they would like to connect and that is more like a welcome party just to like get connected. They'll have ice cream or something there and some games. This is a great way to meet the people. They also have uh, an American Friendship Partner program. For those of you who have been longtime viewers of the channel, you would know my Friendship Partner Eric's wedding. It's a lot of fun. Great way. Check out ICF. Check out the big howdy party happening at UTD. Especially, especially tag all your friends. Share this video with your friends who are going to UTD. That is how I got really got an opportunity to step into an American's home, learn more about their culture, get connected, and everything that has come out of it. I even met Logan, who you have seen long time in this video, who's been one of very big influences in my life through ICF and through all these other programs. Again, if your university doesn't have ICF or doesn't have the same kind of friendship partner program as UTD has, don't get discouraged. There will be many more opportunities for you to connect to locals. Take those opportunities because once you get invited to someone's home, it just brings that feeling that you'll never be able to get in, in an apartment you're sharing with five other guys. So here we are guys at the end of this video. I hope you were able to learn more about how to deal with homesickness with some of the experiences I have been through in my life. And I just hope this prepares you for when time comes that you are hit with that same homesickness. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to me on YouTube and share this video with all your friends who are about to head to the US all are planning to come here. Thank you so much guys for joining me in this video. Have a nice day.